How's everybody doing out there, YouTube? I've got a pretty fun one for you today. It's not super exciting, but I think it's pretty fun. And I've got some updates for you. Um, there's a lot of good things in the works. A lot of good things happening, you know, future things. Um, but what I wanted to do was go ahead. I've had a few questions about what kind of holster I use for my Heritage Rough Rider. So I wanted to go over that with you. Um, this holster is made by Robert Saddlery um, out of, I want to say El Paso, Texas, but I do think it actually says on the side. Yeah, El Paso, Texas. Um, excellent, excellent quality, really heavy grain leather. You can see here, I mean, the thickness of it, super heavy duty. Um, the gun doesn't really flop around in there at all. It's very snug. So when I'm running through the woods, which I'm moving through the woods when I'm in the woods, um, I don't have to worry about this thing coming out, losing my gun. Um, the other thing that's notable, other than the really heavy stitching, which I like, the other thing that's notable to me is actually this uh, thumb release. You can see here how it has this steel plate that keeps the flap rigid. So all you have to do to draw is just click your thumb like that, you're good to go. Um, and I've gotten pretty daggone good with this thing on my hip as far as just being able to get on target quickly. Because you never know. And people laugh at 22 and want to joke about, uh, you know, taking a 22 in the woods for protection. Um, if you have the right kind of rounds, I think you'd be in good shape. More often than not, um, a loud pop from a gun is enough to scare away pretty much any animal. That's not always the case, but for the most part, at least in my area, there's <laughs> certain large animals I don't have to worry about, but then there are some large animals I do. Um, in my area, there's definitely black bear that roll through here, uh, bobcats, and I have heard tale of some mountain lions. Um, so those are definitely things that uh, I try to keep an eye out for in the woods. The other thing I like about this holster is the U.S. stamp. Um, looks just like the, a lot like the Civil War belt buckle. And I just thought that was super cool. I really like that touch personally. Um, like I said, you can't go wrong. The, the belt loop Again, really heavy grain leather, really solid, and uh, sits nicely on your hip. This really is an excellent holster. Nobody's paying me for this stuff. This is my personal opinion, uh, my own purchases, and um, you can actually get these on eBay. Um, I believe my barrel is uh, four and three quarters, and uh, you know they make them for the six inch barrel and whatnot. But um, yeah, you really can't go wrong if you want something somewhat modern, but with some, some stylish, traditional appeal. This is really the way to go. So on another note, I wanted to talk about the direction of my channel and kind of where I'm headed. During the winter months, I've spent a lot of time just really taking some of the guns out, the ones I use most frequently, uh, to the range to show you their capabilities. Really what I'm showing you is just common man guns. They're inexpensive, but I kind of wanted to just put uh, all the rumors to bed, especially about the heritage because I feel like they catch a lot of grief um, and I, I don't feel like they deserve it, but uh, they can be really accurate guns and they can be very sturdy guns and reliable. Um, but what I'm trying to do is the big picture here is I'm trying to show you my field guns and their practical uses. These guns I'm doing videos about have a real purpose out there in the outdoors. Um, we've got, I think squirrel season's coming up here in June. We have a spring squirrel season. I definitely plan on trying to take the Heritage Rough Rider out for a squirrel hunt. I think it'd be really fun. And I'm also planning on using my grandpa's rifle for a squirrel hunt. I think that would also be a really good time. We also have snapping turtle season coming up. 
I'm a huge fan of catching snapping turtles, cooking them up, processing them. Uh, I plan on doing some videos about that as well. Uh, those are just a few things to look forward to. Like I said, there's a lot of big things I can't really say just yet, uh, but if it does come to fruition, there's a whole lot of fun to be had. Also, next week I will be doing a review about a certain revolver that I don't want to give away too much, but I'll just show you this. I'll just show you this. Oh, yeah. So, next week, I will be doing a review on that revolver, giving some really honest input, and uh, we'll take that to the range and have a little bit of fun as well. Um, I'm just not going to tell you what it is yet, just for the suspense. Some of you can probably guess just from the holster. But I, I really can't thank you guys enough. I'm at 366 subscribers, and I really do appreciate every one of you. I just wanted to take a moment just to to tell you that and I really want this to be a community um, where we have a lot of ideas and input that we can share and a lot of creativity uh, some of my videos have been a few things you've probably never seen before like deconstructing a 22 LR to turn it into subsonic and also um, turning 22 LR into percussion caps uh, for a number 11 nipple pretty cool stuff not necessarily stuff you see every day but I am out here I'm trying to take what I have repurpose it come up with new ideas where if you are in a pinch you could have the means necessary despite these little ankle biter things like oh I you know I can't buy caps there's no caps on the shelf maybe you didn't have time to stock up you know I, I've been hearing it on my videos a lot you know just buy this just buy that just buy this and I know I'm going to start sounding like a broken record. Where I live, you can't just buy stuff. I, I genuinely live in the middle of nowhere. To the point that I actually went to Walmart the other day. I've got one local gun shop, and he rarely has that much ammo in there. And usually if he does, it's, it's for stuff that I don't personally have. And every now and again, he'll have a few scarce boxes of, you know, 22 LR and maybe some subsonics if I'm lucky. But I'm going to tag at the end of this video a picture of my local Walmart shelf because that's basically the most variety that you're going to get in my neck of the woods. And there is no variety because there is no ammo. And this picture I'm going to show you, there's, there's more boxes of ammo in there than I've seen in a long time, which is even more pathetic. But... Anyway, I've been rambling on long enough. Keep an eye out. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the like button. Uh, and, you know, hop on this adventure with me. There really is a lot more fun to be had. I keep saying that, and I feel like I'm trying to deliver on that for you guys. But uh, summer's here. There's going to be fishing. There's going to be turtling. There's going to be squirrel hunting. There's going to be catching cooks. There's going to be shooting guns. Thank you guys for sticking around, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.